In this video, we'll find the limit, as n goes to infinity, of the product from k equals 1 to k equals n of cosine of x over 2 to the k. And this can be written as cosine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 4 times cosine of x over 8, etc, etc, etc. So we want to find the value. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay. So we know that sine of 2x equals 2 sine x times cosine x. So that's a simple identity. So let's let, let's let x go to x over 2. This means that 2x goes to just x. So we have that sine of x can be written as 2 sine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 2. Okay, good. So you see already you have cosine of x over 2. So what's going to happen from here? So let's do the same thing again. So we have 2 times sine of x over 2. We're going to plug it back into this formula. So it's a little bit weird. So this will be 2 sine of x over 4, or 2 squared, let's just write it as, times cosine of x over 2 squared. So that just comes from sine of x over 2, plugging in x over 2 for there. Okay, so let's simplify this. This will be 2 squared times sine of x over 2 squared, and I forgot the cosine of x over 2. So we have cosine of x over 2 squared times cosine of x over 2. Okay, good. Let me rewrite that. Okay, so you can write this as 2 squared sine of x over 2 squared. You can plug this back in. You get 2 sine of x over 2 cubed times cosine of x over 2 cubed. Okay, good. Times cosine of x over 2 squared times cosine of x over 2 to the first power. So you can see what's happening. So this will be 2 cubed times sine of x over 2 cubed times cosine of x over 2 cubed cosine of x over 2 squared times cosine of x over 2 to the first. Okay, so we're going to write this as 2 cubed sine of x over 2 cubed times the product from k goes from 1 to 3 of cosine of x over 2 to the k. So that is similar to what we have here, but this is all the way up to n. So we can pretty much infer that the 3 is going to be now n. So we can do this n times. So let's do this n times. So now we have that sine x equals 2 to the n times sine of x over 2 to the n. Right, we're placing 3 with n. So now we have the product from k goes from 1 to n of the cosine of x over 2 to the k. Okay, so we have that. So now we can divide by everything except the product from this side. So we have the product from k goes from 1 to n of cosine of x over 2 to the k equals sine x over 2 to the n times sine of x over 2 to the n. Okay, so what we we're looking for is the limit as n goes to infinity. So let's do the limit on both sides. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity on both sides. And on the top, so for this, the top sine x has nothing to do with n. So we can move the limit to the bottom. So this would be sine x over the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the n times sine of x over 2 to the n. So let's look at this. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the n times sine of x over 2 to the n. Okay, so now let's do a substitution. Let n equal 1 over 2 to the n. That will mean that 2 to the n equals 1 over capital N. So this will be the limit as capital N goes to infinity. No, not infinity. So as n goes to infinity, capital N goes to 1 over infinity, which is 0 of 2 to the n, which is 1 over capital N, times sine of x times 1 over 2 to the n, which is capital N. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so this really looks like sine 0 over 0, so we have over n. So we want this input to be the same as the bottom, so let's multiply by x on the bottom and x on the top. So now we can just, so we didn't multiply by anything because x over x is just 1. So let's let um, 
m be xn, and we have that x is, yeah. So this would be the limit as m goes to zero. On the top we have x times sine m over m, and this limit as m goes to zero is one, is defined to be one. So this is x times one, which is x. Okay, so this is just sine x, and we found that this is just x. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.